Welcome to Apple Painting Tutorial. I started with watercolors and finished leaves with graphite pencils. Pigments for this tutorial Lemon Yellow, Indian Yellow, Senil Year Red, Manganese Violet, Perlin Maroon, Perlin Violet. And here are all watercolor mixes for this Apple Painting Tutorial. Applying water with round synthetic brush on the apple surface, on the whole surface. We will apply watercolors first layer on the whole apple fruit surface. Water is just enough for watercolors to be moved. And starting with main watercolor mix that I will be using, which is alizarin crimson, indian yellow and perlin maroon. A little bit of Senel Year Red and Alizarin Crimson, separately Lemon Yellow. I am constantly checking with the reference. There are some areas that are more visibly yellow and this apple has a lot of yellow. We will be doing transparent yellow washes again and again during this tutorial and this apple surface will be based on painting lots of layers. This is really dark apple and in this reference maybe it's a little bit too dark than it is in real life but still we need to get this darkness and I'm not going with the dark watercolor mixes here. I'm going with transparent layers. Adding more watercolor mix to the right side which is completely in the shadow. And I will leave a little gap on the right side at the very edge a reflected light area in the reference in this case there's no visible reflected light area but i will leave that because reflected light area is helping our eye understand that the subject in front of us is round it's going around and it's not finishing where the edge of the apple is. So I like these reflected light areas a lot and they really make the subject look more rounder. Let's look on the side view. Painting with finer tip brush. And now my layer is dry. I waited a little while and I will be waiting between layers here to dry. As this fruit is one whole, there are no sections, for example, like flower has a lot of petals, then I can skip from one petal to another and I don't need to physically sit and wait for some petal to dry. Here I need to do that because I, I'm not skipping to leaves. I want to get apple fruit as possibly finished as I can before starting to paint leaves. Now I waited a moment, layer underneath paper is dry and I'm taking round synthetic brush loading with Indian yellow, transparent amount of Indian yellow and doing a watery wash glazing of the whole shadow part of the apple. As I mentioned in the, in the beginning this apple has a lot of yellow in it. Yes, it looks red, it looks even dark violet in the shadow area, but there's a lot of yellow. New layer using round synthetic brush, transparently going over the whole upper part. As I start to establish my tonal values where are darks and lights, I can transparently go over the whole surface. I will not, not lose my tonal value areas. Taking finer to brush and fine brush strokes on the upper left corner. Checking paper, it's dry. Taking round synthetic brush, small amount of Indian yellow and doing that glaze watery wash again only the areas that are in the shadow.
Now while I wait for the apple to get dry, I'm taking eradicator brush and I will correct this edge, which is slightly looking crisp, not critically, but I want to have it more softer. With the round subjects, we need this, this, it is called in botanical painting, disappearing edge, because it doesn't end there. This is not the end of the subject. It goes away from our eyesight and we need to get this edge softer, even a little bit fluffier. It gives this feeling that it is round. If the edge will be super crisp and dark or if you will outline it, then it will never look round. No matter the tonal values that you will add, if you will outline or if there will be a super crisp edge, it will look kind of strange. Now the paper surface is dry and we can paint leaf. I will stop with adding more layers to apple surface. I want to add some greens in order to compare. Taking sap green, perlin green and a little touch of Indian yellow. Now I'm taking again eradicator brush, which is stiff, flat synthetic brush, washing in water, cleaning in paper towel, and with the side of this brush, I'm making little dots. You can see in the reference that this apple has little white yellowish dots. I'm not using white paint, I haven't used masking fluid. I will make these dots by lifting out watercolors from the surface with this stiff synthetic brush. I'm putting it on the side each time I'm washing my brush, slightly rubbing surface and with the paper towel cleaning that little dot. And voila! Apple looks now super realistic. We have those dots, we have tonal values, shadows, lights, yellows, reds, uh, reflected light area. And I think this apple is almost ready. Maybe at the end I will add some details. I don't know right now. I need to finish all composition and then I will see. And for the rest of the leaves, I decided to use graphite pencils. I'm taking 2B graphite pencil and will first apply light layer over the whole area of the leaf. And then comparing to the reference, 
I will add uh, details, tonal values, just using pencils. I will be using 2B, 4B and 2H. With 2H I find it super nice to smooth the layer. I'm not using blender, I'm blender stick. I'm using 2H and I find it very nice to smooth the layer of graphite. Now we reach the last leaf, which is the biggest leaf, and it's lighter. If we look at the reference, they are now on the screen two side by side, and we see that the one on the left is much darker, and the one that we're starting right now is lighter. The upper edge is darker, it slightly curves, and then the rest of the leaf is quite light. Approach is the same, technique is the same, starting with 2B from the shadow area and moving towards light area. I'm approaching and for the sleeve it did ask a lot of work and details and you can even go further it can be more detailed but as I'm closer to finishing part of all this composition I like to take a photo of my work and put it side by side with the reference here I have a colored reference photo and it is hard to tell Am I on the right direction with all my tonal values, especially leaves compared to apples? Then I take the original reference photo, turn it black and white and voila, place it side by side with my also turn into mono painting photo. And I notice that apple is good, the front leaf is also very nice, but the darkest leaves aren't dark enough. They are quite pale and both upper leaves are quite similar in tonal values. So I'm looking at the whole composition together. I want to add darkness to little green leaves using watercolor mixes that we have still on color palette using finer tip brush and adding another layer to a little leaf making it slightly darker. Also painting a transparent layer over the middle vein it's also in the shadow it, the leaf is in the shadow and vein is also in the shadow so we need to give layer to that middle vein as well and now the painted leaves are good and I need to add more darkness to the graphite leaves I have a reference right beside me and with 4B pencil, I'm again not pushing too hard, very lightly, I'm toning the leaves that needs to be darker.
Thank you for joining. Thank you for being here and putting your trust in my teaching style. Thank you very much. And let's compare again one more time the finished painting with the reference. And now it looks better. Thank you. And this can be a beautiful addition to your home, to your studio, or maybe you can gift it. Thank you and see you in my next tutorials.